everybody, Grim Green, VaporsForum.com back here today. Gonna do a video of a device that I had no idea existed until the dude PM'd me on ECF. A guy by the name of Johnny B runs MetroVapor.com. He makes a, a PV called the Vapor Billet, B-I-L-L-E-T, 510, makes it himself from scratch. It looks a lot like another PV out there. It's gonna draw some comparisons to the GLV. Obviously, it has that same side-mounted 510 connection and the top-mounted button. It runs on two 16340s at 5 volts. So the batteries that shipped with it were these purple unprotected 16340s that, while they perform very well, are stacking unprotected batteries, which a lot of people in the PV world are very wary of. Um, let me just drip a few drops, take a toot, and we'll get into the good and bad of the billet. I like that top mounted button. Performs really nice. I mean, you get that nice, warm, 5 volt vapor. Um, apart from the unprotected stacked batteries that really not a lot of people are going to recommend, I've been using it but I probably shouldn't be, it will also run on protected 16340s um, that are a little taller so it's a bit of a tight squeeze in there as far as the height goes. Um, I'll show you a picture side by side. The blue ones come out from the top really, really far and the purple ones that it ships with sit down a little bit more. Um, so when you're using the blue ones, the spring in there is going to compress down quite a bit. It'll still work, and I haven't had any run into any problems with it. Um, and at this point, I kind of prefer using uh, protected batteries, especially if I'm stacking them, um, to create 5 volts. This is resisted down, so you're using three or two 3.7 volt batteries to get to 5 volts. Um, I've been getting a nice long battery life from it. Um, the top mounted uh, electronic switch hits every time. It's nice and round, nice and springy. It's very small, it's very palmable. It has a nice soft finish on it. Um, the few complaints I have would be that, I'll try and show you a close up picture of this, but where the atomizer connection kind of comes off on the side here, it's machined and it's kind of swoopy and that part is actually pretty sharp like that could break the skin if I like slipped it out of my hands or I don't know it feels really sharp along this area right here um, and when you're holding it it gets to be uncomfortable I can feel it like scraping against my skin because it feels sharp otherwise it's machined really well that area just feels really sharp the other complaint I have about it is the draw. So um, if you screw the atomizer all the way down, and I'll show you a picture of this, there is zero airflow hose. Airflow holes. So when you're looking at it, it's just straight across one piece. There's no notches um, cut out. I mean, there's one very, very faint notch kind of cut out right here, but the draw is unbelievably stiff. Unbelievably stiff. So what I've been doing is cranking it down all the way and then backing it off about half a turn to create a little gap of airflow. The atomizer very very faintly will wiggle back and forth but that's the only way I can get a decent draw on this. And the draw, if you give it that quarter turn back Beautiful, beautiful draw, nice warm vapor. Um, I really like the two 3.7 volt batteries resisted down to five. It feels really strong, more so, even a little more so than like some six volt devices that I've tried. Um, for those wondering, it does work 
very, very well with a 510 cardamizer. The same deal though, if you crank it all the way down, you're going to have to back it off about a quarter turn to get a good airflow. The cardamizer doesn't wiggle, um, but you get that nice airflow and it performs really well. This is the uh, my 510 cardo that I did a review on. Mm. Brilliant. The way I've been holding this, it kind of is uncomfortable. Um, most people would hold it like this, just in their fist, and hit the button. I have the tendency to put my pinky around the bottom, which I realize this is my own fault, but holding it like this and pressing it against my pinky gets uncomfortable after a while. So I've been trying to hold it without my pinky on the bottom, but it's just, it's a force of habit. The way that the size of this, that's, that's just the way, that's just the way I hold it. Overall, kind of a solid entry into the five volt world. It's very sleek. It's, you know, it's finished very well. It can use protected 16340s or unprotected 16340s. It won't fit an 18650 for 37 volts or a 17670 for 3.7 volts. So this is a strictly five volt device. Um, 125 bucks will get you this. Uh, atomizer, batteries, charger, and a bottle of juice. Um, so overall, maybe on the pricey side, but you're getting a lot. If you need a five volt experience, um, this is a, a solid device to look at. Um, I like using it, I'm gonna continue to use it, and uh, overall I've been pretty happy with it. Um, other than my minor gripes, the billet is a, is a very solid PV, in my opinion. Um, so there you go. That's what I got. The billet from MetroVapor.com. Um, as always, you know what? Thank you so much for watching. Keep on vaping. <laughs>